There's nothing to do in this game. Stop talking, bollocks. There's plenty. Oh yeah? Yeah. Prove it. With fucking pleasure. Introducing exploration and exobiology. As that's what I am doing right now anyway. Let's start with exploration. There's many awesome things hiding in the black worth seeing. Things such as stellar objects like stars and black holes, nebulas which are star remnants, geological sites like water geysers and ice or lava spouts, even simple space life forms vegetating in Lagrange clouds. Not to mention all the different planet types waiting to be found. Is that all? Because seeing things is not doing things. I need something more substantial than pretty views. Very well, how about money, credits, cash? Is that substantial enough? So, if you're after substantial, then you're after a high-value exploration data. Let's have a look at this chart. Whoever made it is awesome, by the way. After a quick study, we can see that the most valuable bodies are Earth-like worlds, water worlds, ammonia worlds and high metal content worlds. Those are the things we want to search for. This is how it's done. After scooping some hydrogen and refueling our tanks, we send a powerful sonar blast through entire star system. Wondrous device that lets us do that is called Discovery Scanner. What it does is that it reveals all the radio and wave sources in the system to our ship sensors. Now we're ready to dive to another level. We power on Deep Spectrum Scanner. This thing can lock on on the sources our discovery scanner revealed and zoom in onto them all the way to the visual range, even if they are hundreds of thousands of light seconds away. Not only that, but it can analyze spectral print of those bodies and give you information about their atmosphere, temperature, composition, size, gravity, resources and more. Years worth of research. Done in seconds. Back in the day, astronomers would fight wars with each other for a tech like this. After finding a shiny world, we can make even more cash with it. Envy those animals or primitive civilizations, if they are down there, as they are about to witness incredible light show, as we launch our probes towards their planet. Probes that will map entire surface of that world in mere moments producing a heatmap of geological or biological signals. There's plant life down there. Shall we go and contaminate this world? Yes, we shall. Let's talk exobiology. Whip out your biosampler and start scanning them genes. Three samples from three different colonies of the same type of plant will sum up to a complete genome. Again, 31st century technology absolutely shines here. 
This biosampler even has a wave scanner mode that will show you specimens fit or not so fit for sampling. It's fully automated too, and if I could have one complaint, that will be it. You may think I'm odd, but I prefer the older model, the one with a so-called minigame attached to it. The one where you had to match the rings of gene sequences. It made sampling an engaging activity, as you had to engage your attention to get a sample back then. Now it's mindless and boring. The challenge has shifted to finding the samples, which isn't that challenging. Unfortunately, bunch of losers that just couldn't get good made it go away, instead of hiding themselves under a rock out of shame. Now we have what we have, and those who complain so much about it do not even are around anymore. But I don't want to bore you here with that. I'll just make a well-argued request to bring the older model back on the forums. You're welcome! Be warned though, you can only have one sample active at a time. If you switch to a different plant midway, you will lose previously stored parts of the genome of the previous specimen. Still, you can make some money with that activity. And the views, views you will see along the way, are priceless. So, in a summary, what can we do here? We can find, scan, probe, land, sample and catalog stars, planets and the various life forms. And we can do that over and over again, 400 billion times, as that's how many star systems there are in this galaxy. And on top of that, we'll get paid for it and also, did I mention that you'll have your name attached to your discoveries? Well, I just did. You will have your name featured on many worlds out there. And that's just exploration and exobiology. That's just tip of an iceberg, frankly. This ocean-sized puddle gets much more deeper than you think. Ocean deep, actually. You just have to be willing to leave the shallows to find out. There's nothing to do? In reality, there's actually too much. Thanks for watching, 07 Commanders.